Hello everyone, my name is Andrew Bombosher, and today I want to show you how to make a steezy metallic noise effect and sweep using the Subtractor Analog Synthesizer in Reason. So let's take a listen to what we're about to make. So as you can hear, this is not your standard white noise uh, sweep effect. This is going to use some oscillators and subtractor, and um, we're going to really exploit what subtractor can do. It's very versatile. So let's get started. First and foremost, I just need to point out that this particular note pattern or note structure is just a, a triad chord spread across two octaves, and um, velocity is not going to really play a factor or anything like that. The best part about this patch is that you can use chords, you can use one note, you can use um, high notes, low octave notes, it, 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 it's all up to you, which is really, really nice. But in my new project, I do have the notes copied and pasted here for, no, uh, for time sake, and in my new rack I have a combinator created, so just right click, create a combinator. In the combinator, let's right click and create an instance of subtractor. Make sure to right click on it and reset the device or initialize patch depending on what version of reason you're using. And when it comes to polyphony it's completely up to you. For this tutorial I'm just going to keep it at 8 and leave it alone since we do have about 6 notes playing. Next we're just going to go to the first oscillator section here and we're going to set the octave to 2. Next, we're going to set the phase mode to multiplication. We're going to set the phase difference here to 84. Next, we're going to change the fine tuning or scent to negative 10. And then next we're going to go to the FM amount, and that stands for frequency modulation, and it'll use this oscillator to modulate the frequency of this oscillator. And the higher you turn this knob, the faster it goes, and you can create some really nice new sidebands. So for this particular tutorial, we're actually going to crank it up all the way to 127. Next we're going to go to this box, click to activate the second oscillator, and we're going to set this octave to 1. We'll set the phase mode to subtractive, and the phase difference will be at 98. We're going to change the scent of this waveform here to 10, and we'll keep the mix at regular. Now the fun part. We're going to change each of these waveforms to the waveforms in the upper menu of the subtractor. So this first oscillator is going to be number 21. Wave 21. It'll save tw it'll say 20 if you highlight it, but it's 21 here. This one here is going to be number 30. Next we're going to go to the first filter here and we're just going to slightly lower the filter frequency to 61 and uh, I definitely recommend messing with those parameters um, but the more you open the filter and longer you do it, um, it it does start to pierce your ears a little bit so just be careful um, depending on how much reverb you have of course and I'll change the low pass mode to low pass 24 and I'm also going to utilize the second filter here just as a master filter so that way I can turn it down and up any time I like to do anything I want with it as well as have resonance control for any peaks that I'd like to utilize. And the master level will stay at 80, it's default. Um, this can get pretty loud very quickly so just be careful. So I'm going to play out what we have so far. It's going to be very droll and muddy since we're not using the filter envelope yet, but this is what we have. As you can hear, nothing much is going on. You can barely hear it, basically. But we're going to change all that with the filter envelope. So we'll go here, and we'll start off by changing the filter envelope amount to about 46, 
and this is where it's up to taste. If you want more of a drastic filter envelope effect, crank it up, but if you want more of a subtle, turn it down. Completely up to you. The attack will be at about 90, so it takes a good time for it to introduce itself as far as the filter. The decay will be about 94, so when it peaks, it'll decay for quite a bit of time. But we're going to keep the sustain and release down at zero, so there's no volume of the filter after uh, the decay uh, has done what it's needed to do. So the next thing is we're going to take the amp envelopes decay and sustain all the way up, just so it doesn't lose any volume over time. And I just like to slightly turn up the amp envelope attack and release, just so there's no clicking. But again, since we're using filter envelope effects, you really won't hear any, any uh, anyways. So we're going to play out what we have, um, but we still have some work to do. We still have a reverb to add as well, but this is what we have. And as you can hear, it gets very loud very quickly. So you can always turn down the level, but what we're going to do is just alter a few parameters so that it's not as loud. The first thing we're going to do is edit the velocity section here. The velocity essentially affecting how much the filter envelope affects the filter. We're going to turn it down to zero. I don't want to use it in this particular application. And the second thing is we're going to go to the LFO2 section here and we're going to keep it to phase so it's modulating the phase of the waveforms. We're going to keep the rate at 64 right in the middle and the amount is completely up to you. Um, in the tutorial I actually automated the amount up and then down so we can do that right now real quick in a very 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 crude drawing but just to give the effect of what we're doing here back in the rack however we're gonna right click on the subtractor here at this point we're pretty much done with the actual synthesizer and we're going to create a RV7000 reverb the settings are completely up to you, and I definitely recommend, of course, experimenting with everything. But for time's sake, we're just going to lower the dry wet to about 62, keep the decay, the damp, and the high EQ all at the same. But with this reverb, it really starts to help not keep it as bright. So this is what we have with the reverb and without the velocity uh, modulation here. Just like that, you have a nice metallic transitional or stab. You can make it whatever you want with the filter envelope here. Uh, metallic noise hit and uh, effect. And the best part is with the second filter here, you can filter out anything you want at any time. You can, you can do whatever you like. But it's the, the reverb that really gives it that nice thick feel, if you will. So I definitely recommend just experimenting with it as much as you can. But um, that is it. That is exactly how we make metallic noise effects with the subtractor. Um, not necessarily the right or wrong way to do it, but um, definitely a method. So um, I really hope you enjoyed the video. I really hope you learned something. And um, we will uh, save this patch as um, ABB uh, Metal Noise Effect Tutorial. and I'll make it available for download and it'll be in the uh, the link for the download will be in the description but um, thank you so much for watching and uh, we're all students in this so please show me what you did with this maybe I can learn something from you and uh, if you have any comments concerns any feedback please let me know um, please if you like the video give it the thumbs up and uh, if you like please subscribe um, love doing this love making sounds so other than that we are finished up and i just hope you guys all have a good one so we'll see you next time